Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek Gupta and I'm the founder and CEO of Asia's biggest parent and student community, High School Moms. You can follow our YouTube handle right now or you can also follow us on Instagram. In this video, we will get to know how do you get into one of the most finest, most reputed and most selective institution in the world, Massachusetts Institute of Technology located in Cambridge, Massachusetts in United States of America. We will tell you everything that you need to do from academic requirements to extracurriculars to summer programs. We will also have a look at MIT application for this year so that we do not miss out anything that you need to know for you to get admission into your dream institution, MIT USA. Let's quickly get inside and see what is MIT looking for from all of us so that we can get admission into MIT United States of America. you want to get into MIT, then you really need to know about MIT a little more. It is ranked number two as per the US news this year. 168 acre beautiful campus, 19 student residences, over 40 gardens and parks for you to walk inside and 4,361 students, I fumbled, 4,361 students are studying undergraduate courses at Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Let's quickly see what all we will cover in this particular video. We will talk about the academic requirements you need to meet to get into Massachusetts Institute of Technology. I will decode all the profile and extracurricular activities that you need to participate in so that you can get admission into MIT. I will also have a look at MIT application and decode it for you. And in the end, we will also talk about their short essays and letter of recommendations, which you need to fill in the application to MIT. So what is MIT really looking at? MIT is looking at a well-rounded personality, what they call it a holistic profile. They're looking at a student who is high on academics. They're looking at a student who is full of fun and passion, passion towards the field of study, passion to make world a better place. They're looking at a student who is curious to learn more. They're looking at a student who wants to make the world a better place by engaging himself or herself into initiatives and activities which are more community oriented. That's what MIT is looking at. And if you are able to understand all of it, there is no chance that you will not be able to make it to MIT. We will go into detail of each one of them one step at a time. So what is the academic requirement to make it to MIT? Now we know MIT is one of the most selective institutions in the world. For this year, they have mentioned that they do not require any standardized scores not require SAT or not require ACT. But if you carefully look at their application, they do have a section to mention the test scores, which means if you take the test, and my suggestion is that you must take one of these tests, either SAT or ACT, because you will give MIT an additional data point for them to consider you. If you want to be into the 75th percentile of applicants going to MIT, then you must score anything above 1500 on your SATs and anything above 33 on your ACTs. In terms of English language requirement, MIT accepts Pearson Test of English, known as PTE, IELTS, TOEFL, Duolingo, all of them are accepted at MIT. So that was the first level of academic requirement. In the second level of academic requirement, you also need to understand that everybody who makes to MIT is actually a high achiever. So your scores in high school are critically important and you cannot take them lightly, especially grade 10 and upward. So try and score as high as possible. However, their website clearly mentions that they do not just look at the score, but look at the holistic profile. But here it is important for you to understand that people who make it to MIT generally tend to have great scores. In this case, you can also try and take certain advanced placement exams and we will make a separate video what APs are and what all APs can you take. But advanced placements are those exams which will help you tell MIT and their admission officers that you are high on curiosity, you have the ability to handle additional course loads and you are raring to learn more beyond your own academic syllabus. So go ahead and take certain AP exams. In terms of profile and extracurriculars, like I said, MIT is looking at a completely well-rounded personality, what they call it, a holistic profile. Their application process and admissions process is very student-centric, which means they will look into your application without comparing you with somebody else from your school, your class, or your city. 
entire focus is on you. Here, we also need to understand what are those extracurriculars that you should participate in so that MIT looks at your candidature favorably. And I will talk about some of them and give you suggestions on some of them which you can really participate in in terms of making it to MIT. So before I suggest you some of those amazing extracurricular activities that can increase and maximize your chances at MIT, let us first look what is MIT asking in its application for this year applicants. MIT is asking you to mention four extracurricular activities one by one. They have also given you the space to mention about your summer programs and summer activities. At this juncture, it is important for you to understand MIT is very particular in knowing how did you utilize your summer vacation? What extra did you learn? What did you do? Where did you go? So you have to mention that in this section. They want you to mention some of your scholastic distinctions and non-scholastic distinctions. This can be really confusing. Do not worry. My next slides will help you understand more about this. But what can we mention in those four activities one by one, which MIT is asking you to mention? You can talk about your sports interests. You can talk about your music, speech and debate, MUNs, anything that you have participated in, in terms of extracurriculars, you can mention them one by one. In terms of summer activities, like I said, MIT is very particular in knowing and in understanding what did you do and how did you utilize your summer break. I want you to understand and possibly look at Harvard summer program, Yale summer program. You can even look, look at doing possibly a research under an IIT faculty or a faculty from a leading university. This way, you will be able to utilize your summer break really, really well. I will also suggest you certain activities to consider here. For your scholastic distinctions, which means you have to show your academic progress, something beyond the classroom, consider participating in American Mathematical Challenge. Consider participating in CEMC by Waterloo in Canada. Consider participating in AIME. You should also participate in certain Olympiads because students at MIT participate in some of these amazing competitions and you must consider that too. Some of those op Olympiads which are really reputed like Zonal Informatics Olympiad, like Zonal Computing Olympiad can be really handy. I'll give you two summer programs which are very selective in nature and if you're able to make it to them, you will definitely be able to make it to MIT. RSI and TAFs. Go ahead and, re and research more about them on Google. Educational trips in summers and winters are a great way of learning and you can mention about all of them in your summer activities section in your application. But wait, MIT is also looking at the X factor. X factor about the fun person inside you. X factor about the person who's willing to make world a better place. So they really want you to tell how will you make the world a better place? And for that, they have given specific sections in their short essays. They've asked you, what do you do for fun? They've asked you, how will you make world a better place with your education? They've also asked you any challenges that you have faced in the recent past and what are the solutions that you have identified. So these are critically important sections and you must research and write about them after really giving a great thought to it. In terms of community engagement, remember I told you, MIT is looking at somebody who can make a world a better place. It is not necessary for you to participate or be registered with one of those international NGOs. If you do not, it's okay. As long as you can start inside out. Can you make a difference to one life? That also is valued at MIT. You can start by helping somebody learn from an underprivileged society. You can teach them English. You can teach them computers, a life skill, a vocational program. If you can start helping people inside out, that will be valued at MIT. Tutoring at an underprivileged school or tutoring to underprivileged kids can come in handy and it is a great activity for you to mention in terms of your MIT application. Lastly, you require two letters of recommendation from your school teachers to complete your application to MIT. One which will definitely come from your maths or science teacher and the second one which can come from your social science, humanities or your school counselor. Once you submit that, your application is now complete to MIT. We hope you liked this video. We hope now you are completely geared up for your application to MIT and we sincerely wish you all the best for getting into your dream institution, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. For more such videos, follow us on High School Moms YouTube channel. You can also follow us on our Instagram handle, High School Moms. Thank you and see you around.